Yeah, what you're saying about artists kind of struggling with that, uh, obviously being an independent filmmaker definitely comes with its challenges, right? <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> yeah, it really, really does. Yeah, there's a lot of challenges. Um, just trying to get a film off the ground um, is very challenging for an independent filmmaker. But that's what I respect and admire about filmmakers because they have this tenacity to because it's very hard to make a film. It's, it's extremely hard. You have to pull in a lot of resources and you have to pull in a lot of people and keep them on that same page to be able to work to one goal, to create something that everyone's proud of. And it's, it's a very encompassing position to be in. So to be able to get to that point and complete a journey, I think is quite a, it's quite a feat for, for anyone to undertake. And so I admire all filmmakers that are out there making films. Obviously, one of the major challenges is the funding part. Uh, right? <laughs> How were you able to, to find the money to finance uh, Wastelands? Well, Wastelands was not funded by any exterior parties. It was funded by myself and a, a collaborator of mine called Mole Smith, who is best friend stroke collaborator on films we we collaborate on each other's films i help him he helps me so it, it was just an amalgamation of us putting our whatever little money we had into a pot and trying to make the best film possible and also writing around because obviously as an independent filmmaker sometimes you have to write around the budget limitations that you have and be more creative um, and I always knew that it wasn't necessarily going to be the biggest in terms of what I had to spend in money on this film. It was much more about people's time and energy. That was going to be much more of an investment as opposed to financial money that I had to raise. So it was never going to be the biggest budget film. Um, but I think you wouldn't see, you wouldn't look, if you looked at the film, if you watched the film, you wouldn't say necessarily say it's the lowest budget film either. It kind of, I think it holds its own. With all of the challenges that that process entails, obviously there's something inside of you that makes you kind of want to do it anyways, to tell stories. It's almost yeah. like a, a desire inside of you that drives you. Definitely, definitely is. It definitely is. And I think all creatives kind of go through this when, it, you know, whether it's storytelling, music creation, you know, filmmaking, whatever it is, painting, the arts. If you don't get that out, if you don't, manage to get out that, that artistic drive and that you know that energy it, it does affect you in a lot of ways so it, it is almost like a compulsion when you're an artist that you need to you need to get this out of you you need to tell this story or you need to make this painting or whatever it might be it's not necessarily you want to or you're just doing it for the sake of it you're doing it because you have to do it and it definitely feels that way for me it definitely feels that way for me so on the other hand, I mean, being an independent filmmaker, does that also mean that you have, uh, you, you're able to tell the stories in the way that you want to tell it? I mean, you also have that type of independence? Yeah, definitely. There's definitely a certain amount of independence um, and freedom when it comes to when, when you when you are making a film, when you don't have financial struggles behind you. And I've been on both sides of the table. So I've, I've made a film where I did have financial pressures behind me. Um, so I, I, I know both sides of the coin and I do find the, the more independent route much more freeing in that sense. But at the same time, you know, the film industry, you have to be able to kind of, you know, mold and expand yourself to be able to work in any environment. And that's something I think filmmakers pride themselves on being able to be um, malleable enough to work with financiers or to, to have the independent freedom to, to do what you want. But I mean, you know, it, we all want to be independently free, don't we? We all want freedom. So having that freedom is, is obviously a lot better. It's a lot better. But I've been, I've been lucky because I have worked with a lot of people that have allowed me to, to push my vision because I'm quite exacting on what I want. And, and, and I have had that freedom before. So I'm, I've been quite lucky so far in my career. Hopefully it carries on that way.